Hi everyone, my name is Satria. I'm a PhD in the group of Marix Medema in Wageningen University, Netherlands. And today I want to present about our project uh, of charting the second metabolic diversity of more than 200,000 microbial genomes and metagenome assembled genomes. In our group, we study bicentric gene clusters. So those are uh, distinct features of microbial genomes of which genes that encode for proteins that in turn will act as enzymes and poke together in a single secondary metabolic pathway are found to be uh, commonly clustered together or uh, next to each other in the genome. And this makes us able to uh, develop computational tools to uh, basically do genome mining uh, to try and predict uh, all the secondary metabolites that uh, an organism may encode in their genome. And given the close link between these genomic features and the actual chemical compounds that they uh, may encode for, uh, we can imagine that if we take all the sequence microbial genomes out there uh, in public databases like NCBI, we can try to do genome mining and then use them to, as a proxy to map the biogenic diversity of all the potential secondary metabolites that those uh, microbial organisms may produce. So here we take uh, around 200,000 uh, genomes from NCBI RefSec along with some 20,000 mugs from uh, multiple uh, published studies and we uh, predict their BGCs using uh, a tool called Atismes uh, version 5 uh, along with some 2000 BGCs known and experimentally verified BGCs from the MyBig database uh, and we end up with a total of around 1.2 million BGCs uh, from uh, predicted from those genomes. And in order to chart this binary diversity or measure this binary diversity, what we do is we perform a large scale homology analysis. So we group all the similar BGCs into what we call uh, gene cluster families or GCFs. And uh, we do this using uh, our newly developed tool called Big Slice. So uh, you can check out uh, my other presentation in the microbial Cosy session for uh, technical details about Big Slice. Uh, and we come up with a total of 95,000 GCFs uh, from those uh, BGCs using the default results that we set. And uh, using these GCFs, basically, we can then uh, plot uh, uh, this uh, uh, global atlas of bisonic diversity uh, from, from those BGCs. So here, what you see is uh, uh, 95,000 GCFs collapsed into 500 uh, bins uh, using the K-means uh, uh, clustering algorithm. And from here, you can see like all the uh, like maps or pattern of uh, the more generic compound classes like polyketides, NRPs, uh, ribs, or alkaloids and terpenes, etc. But also you can you can see the distribution uh, of uh, those unique uh, BGCs or biosynthetic uh, potentials across data sets and across taxonomy. For example, here you see uh, on this orange plate, uh, BGCs, uh, polyketide NRP BGCs exclusive to the fungal genomes, uh, which are actually pretty distinct compared to the bacterial ones. And you can also use this result to uh, try and measure really how much out there uh, are uh, the underexplored BGCs. So here on these orange dots, you see the uh, GCFs uh, closely related or includes uh, the known BGCs from MyBig. And actually there you see that more than 95% of the BGCs and GCFs out there are uh, still uh, distantly related uh, from any known BGCs from my big. And some uh, 3,700 of them of the GCFs are actually uh, exclusive to the metagenome assembled genomes. And one of those BGCs uh, are, you, ca you can see here uh, from the Tara Ocean dataset, you can see this uh, NRP polyketide 
hybrid BGC with a pretty complex multimodular structure uh, typical uh, of the known BGCs you can see in the MyBig database. And you can also use this result to try and uh, uh, see the, the basically the most productive species and genus uh, in terms of the unique BGCs and uh, secondary metabolites that they can produce. And here you can see that aside from the uh, 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 frequently sequenced uh, uh, pathogenic bacteria and fungi, you also see the, the classic uh, 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 secondary metabolic producing um, species like streptomyces. And here you also see that aside from the streptomyces genus, for example, in Ectodia bacteria, you see also the nocardia and the amicrolatopsis genus uh, uh, having uh, also like a potential to produce a lot of unique species. And in the future, what we imagine is that we can use uh, these uh, gene cluster families to actually replace uh, protein families uh, as a way to do uh, functional metagenomics, basically based on BGCs. And this also in part uh, also be made possible by long read sequencers able to generate context and reads that spans uh, the whole length of BGCs, which typically like from 20, 50 to uh, or some 70 KBs. And yeah, uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, feel free to ask any questions.